This is how to quickly and easily import different fonts into Premiere Pro. Adobe's built-in font library already has a good selection of basic fonts, but if you're looking for a little more of a creative or charismatic font choice for your subtitles or captions, there are several websites out there to choose from. Today, I'll be going with Google Fonts. They've got a huge selection of different fonts to choose from, an easy interface to work with, and it just makes the entire workflow pretty seamless to where you can download a specific style of font or an entire font library in a matter of clicks. After you determine the font that you want to use in your project, go ahead and download it. You can download either the specific style or the entire font family. I highly recommend downloading the entire font family because it gives you a little more leeway when you're working within Premiere. The next step is pretty straightforward. Again, make sure you've closed all of the Adobe apps on your computer. The next part of this step is slightly different on Mac and on PC. On a Mac, you'll go ahead and double click each of the fonts individually. This will bring up the Mac's font book and from there you just need to click the install font button. On a PC, it's as easy as double clicking the font and at the top of the font window you'll see an install button. Go ahead and click that and you've now installed your font globally. The final step is to make sure that your fonts have been applied in Premiere Pro. Again, if you've left any Adobe apps open during this process, you'll need to close them and reopen them before you can see the changes take effect. You can now go ahead and open up a new Premiere Pro window, select the font drop-down menu, and you should see the font that you've just installed now available for selection. If you've gone through and your font is still not available within the drop-down selection, then there are a couple of things you can do to troubleshoot this. Most issues can usually be solved by closing and reopening Premiere Pro. Be sure to save any open projects and that the application is completely exited and closed. If you're still having issues, you can go ahead and try restarting your computer entirely. Adobe does have a web page specifically for any issues in uploading of any font types, so you can go ahead and check that out too. Hopefully this quick video helped you understand how to import custom fonts into Premiere Pro for your captions and subtitles. Remember, if you're looking to get professional captions done quickly, check out rev.com. Thanks for watching.